Hello and welcome to this small video demonstration where I'll show you how to configure the MQTT client running on the Burleson RG32 series. First I'll start by opening the work suite program. I've created a small application which simulates a very simple pumping station. We have some analog inputs measuring the water level. We have some digital output when to start the pump, when to stop it, and we have some alarm signals, and we have some set points where the when the pump should start and when it should stop. Now I will configure the MQTT client, and this is done in the Fieldbox configurator. I start by inserting the MQTT client driver. I'll then add my master port, and I will use an online broker, it's called brokerhivemq.com. Our client ID is pumping station 1. Now I'll start by adding my events that I will publish to the MQTT broker. The topic will be pumping station 1. First I'll start by adding all our alarm signals. I have one for high high level. I'll put it in the topic alarms and then high, high level. So an event when this digital input changes, and then one for our high level. It's alarms, high level. One for low level. Now I'll add some events for some status messages and these are our water level, the analog value will have then the topic status water level. 1% change when to send the messages. Now I will have our start pump signal, so that will be status start pump. Stop pump status stop pump. So these are the events that I will publish to the MQTT broker. Now I'll subscribe to some to some uh, messages that other MQTT clients can send to us. And this is done by subscribing, and it will be pump in station one slash set points. I'll add one for our set point start level. Look for the value in the value field V. We'll have one for our set point stop level. So now I have created the application, I will then download it to the RTU. So you can see we have a very simple application running, our pump is currently running now, we can go to the low level when it is turn off, now the pump is stopped. <coughs> now I will verify that the RTU is actually publishing messages to, uh, to the broker, so I will start. online broker here which is the thing that we connected to so I'll now connect here and I'll subscribe to all events coming from pumping station one subscribe so you can actually see now we can change the water level see you get the messages now I'll try and change the um, set point for our starting level so my topic is pumping station station one set point start level 
over that uh, quality of service too and then we'll be looking at the V field and it should be 570 so current you can see here our start level is 65 now I'll publish this to our MQTT client and it now changed to 70 so we can hear now the pump should start when the water level is above 70 so you can see here now we have the event start pump which is now one and the stop pump is zero this was all for now thank you for watching this small video demonstration